Speed control is a critical aspect of many mobile presentations. Troll those baits too fast or too slow and the bites simply don't happen. The cruise control feature of the iPilot Link system makes speed management easier by controlling our boat speed with GPS precision. Let's learn how to manage boat speed using cruise control. The cruise control feature of the iPilot Link system can be activated and managed using either the remote or the Humminbird Fish Finder. To activate the cruise control feature using the remote, first get your boat moving at your target speed. Then, touch cruise control on the remote, which you can find on the remote's home screen. An icon will appear to remind you that the iPilot Link system is now managing your speed. Touch the top window on the home screen to disengage cruise control. With cruise control active, you can increase or decrease your target speed using the remote's plus and minus keys. Your new target speed will be reflected on the remote's display. On your Humminbird Fish Finder, Cruise control is accessed through the iPilot Link virtual remote. On a Helix, with the virtual remote active, use the up and down arrow keys to select cruise control, and then use the left and right arrow keys to toggle this feature on or off. Change your cruise control target speed using the plus and minus keys. On a Solix, Select Cruise from the virtual remote to activate cruise control. Use the plus and minus keys to adjust your target speed. Speed management by cruise control is compatible with many iPilot Link navigational tools, like Autopilot or Follow the Contour, or even navigating an iTrack. In other words, you can set both a course and a speed with the iPilot Link system. So shed those common boat control tasks and keep your focus on fishing.